This is 360. I'm checking in with Tiffany right here. A very special lady with a lot of insight as far as the barber community goes, as far as haircuts, as far as style goes. Can you tell the world about what sparked your interest in the barber game? Well, I didn't grow up knowing that I was going to be a barber. Okay. I am an artist. I mm. paint. I draw. Mm. I got into it. I was actually painting in the back of a barber shop, and when I cut off the side of my hair, I was like, this is what I got to do. This is what I have to do. And thankfully, I had very, very supportive males in my life that were very, very good at um, uh, taking on the reins, helping me, getting me to be good real fast. And um, as a woman, you have to prove yourself twice as hard. And as an artist, I already had the upper hand in the perspective right. and how the how it all went. Yeah. So in the beginning, I saw how it all went down, but it definitely takes consistency, a lot of hard work, so many hours, and once you get all that down pat, once you get that yeah. that framework, that foundation all yeah. down and in. Yeah, I like that. I like that. So many things happen. Now, I really appreciate that you said you are artist first. I feel like when you have that touch and that vision. It makes the transition into the barber game that much easier because at some at some level or another, I think we're all artists, and that's a form of our expression and our loving concern for people. Like, look, I'm gonna give you something fresh because I want you to step out in the world looking brand new, as clean as possible. So, I, I think that's awesome that you mentioned that because I think there's a little bit of an artist in all of us. Probably you more. It's probably like a you know all artists just you know. Sprinkling some barbering and then there you go. So definitely appreciate that. Um, how do you feel about this current movement? The her the her shit his hair. I know you mentioned that it were it were males that you know showed you the ropes in the game and, and they were helpful. I feel like this movement kind of promotes that energy where we can all come together, learn something, and I think the women are the heavy hitters in this game. So can you just elaborate some more on the movement? Absolutely. Um like I said before, I feel like we have to prove ourselves twice as hard, but, you know, we give that touch, we have that female touch, you know, and we're just a little something different, something else to see, something else to experience, but at the, at the end of the day, regardless of gender, you know, it really is just the work that's put in, you know, at the end of the day, you just want mm -hmm. your clients to look the best they can, yes. you know, so I don't look at it as being a female, male or female, in my eyes, in my eyes, yeah. but it is, you know, something that everybody is drawn to. Can you tell the world where they can find you to get laced up, you know, to check an appointment, to see your work? Where can they find you? Oh, well, I'm from a little island called Staten, Staten Island. I'm from Fresh Barber Shop. My name is Tiffany Porku, Tip Porku, at Tip Porku, Instagram. Fresh Barbershop, 858 Post Avenue, Staten Island, New York. Come find us. We're the Forgotten Borough, but come see us. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Checking out. It was great talking to you. Thank you so much.